Hey guys, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open our December 18th pin. So it looks like we're adding the other puppies to the other side. I mean, we kind of knew that was coming. Um, but yeah, so cute. Looks like they're just playing with some string. And yeah, so this is this is the end of Lady and the Tramp. I mean, the end of this pin set. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just look at the back just for the heck of it. I mean, it looks exactly like the back of all the others, but there you go. Um, here, I'll go ahead and add this down here. You see it? I'm terrible. I'm terrible at putting these things on. <laughs> I feel like um, I just can't get them lined up perfectly, but it's passable. <laughs> All right, so we've completed the Lady in the Tramp set. Um, it's super cute. I still can't decide what my favorite of all the three that I've opened is. I don't know. I think, I think the Winnie the Pooh one might be my favorite. I don't know. It's impossible to decide. I'm an Enneagram 9. I don't know if you guys get into the Enneagram stuff. I'm not like deep into it, but I feel like I blame everything on my Enneagram number. So my inability to make decisions about anything, like which pen is my favorite, I blame on being a 9. So <laughs> um, that's what I'm going to go with. They're all my favorite. Um, so I'm back home today and my trip was actually really good so i'll just like tell you guys a little bit about it um we left saturday afternoon after i finished shooting graduation we drove to nashville liliana screamed the whole time <laughs> it's a two-hour drive so that was really fun <laughs> um not at all so we got to Nashville and once she got out of the car, she was fine. We played with my friend Elena who lives um, there in Nashville. We hung out with her for a little while and then put Liliana down and then we watched YouTube videos for like several hours and just talked. Um, those are, I love having friends like that that you can just like hang out and watch silly YouTube videos with and just have a great time. So. Um, it was really great to get to hang out with her, and she's so generous to let me stay in her um, her condo before our airplane travel day. So anyway, next morning we get up, we play a little while, then she drove me to the airport in my car, and um, that was nice not to have to pay for parking or ride the shuttle. Um, we got through security okay, and Liliana was pretty good in the airport. I kept her busy eating a biscuit, and just reading books and things but then <laughs> we were boarding and she just like lost it so she screamed pretty much from the time I lined up to get on the plane um, until I finally got her a bottle like in her mouth <laughs> so and I had I had the water for the bottles and then the formula so I had to get the bottle out and put the formula in and mix it up while she's in my arms screaming so that was fun um, I felt I I can't help but like feel bad for being that person with the screaming baby, but um, I was like, my gosh, these people are probably like, can I get a refund on this plane ticket and go another time? Because <laughs> they were probably afraid she was going to scream the whole time, but she, after she had her bottle, she kind of like nuzzled in and um, fell asleep on me for like 30 minutes, and then when she woke up, we just like sat there and kind of played a little bit. We had the whole row to ourselves um, because it was only about two thirds full. So that was nice. Somebody almost sat in the row with us and I was like, what are you even doing? Like, <laughs> I have a baby. Do you see this? This baby's gonna cry. Anyway, thankfully she ended up sitting in the row in front of us. Maybe she didn't see the baby at first, but anyway. So then we were in Charleston for most of Sunday and all day Monday and then Tuesday morning and we just kind of hung out with my friends. Um, I have three friends from college who live there. Two of them are a married couple. That's who I stayed with. Then the other one um, lives in another house but he like came over and hung out with us pretty much the whole time. So it was just really great and um, I mean we pretty much just like kept Liliana busy 
while she was awake and then while she napped we drank coffee and ate delicious food so that was that was just kind of a great little friend getaway and um stuff like that is really refreshing to me to just like get away from all the responsibilities that i have um which in this case i didn't get away from all the responsibilities that i have because i had my baby with me but you know work stuff and like to-do lists and i'm so glad that i filmed all these youtube videos ahead of time because i like didn't have to think about it at all they just posted when i had scheduled them and it was really freeing um so yeah it was just really great and then on the way back she didn't sleep at all but i when she did cry i gave her a bottle and she was fine i did think ahead to actually mix the bottle in the airport before we got on the plane <laughs> when i had more room um so yeah and then we got home and drove back and she did cry a little bit in the car on and off um but and this is probably really bad and dangerous but i put my headphones in um to kind of drown her out <laughs> that's terrible but like i couldn't do anything for her i would sing to her a little bit and she would stop um so if like i could sing to her while i was listening to a podcast i know that sounds weird that I can just do that but if you just sing the same song over and over again it just sounds like white noise um so I did that a little bit but that kind of helped me to like deal with her being upset in the car um because it is really it will test your patience a lot I mean I, I wasn't like mad at her but it just is like it, it's just great you know so um thankfully when we got home I fed her again she was happy she ate a lot yesterday because I was like I just want you to be happy so I'm gonna fill your tummy up um but yeah so we got home everything's good no sickness yet um fingers crossed so I, I couldn't really wipe everything down that she wanted to touch because like she wanted to touch everything so I had hand sanitizer I tried to just like keep spraying her little hands with hand sanitizer as much as I could um but yeah she doesn't really put stuff in her mouth so that helps like if she does touch things she until she gets really tired, she doesn't like stick her hands immediately in her mouth. Um, but anyway, so I'm sorry, this video has been not at all Disney related, but I thought, you know, if people are watching this that have a baby and they're curious about traveling with the baby, maybe this would be interesting to listen to. So, um, but yeah, I'm feeling better about our Disney trip in March with her. It's just gonna be a lot different from now on, especially while she's so little and just requires a lot. Um, it's yeah it's gonna be different but I think she'll do okay I think she she doesn't sleep well on the go so that's gonna be an issue but since Disney is just so stimulating I'm hoping that it will keep her um, entertained enough to like maybe push her nap times a little bit but um, the hard thing is when she, when we're strolling her around if we stop she gets mad so I'm like how are we gonna wait for rides even in fast pass lines, you have to wait. So like if we had a fast pass for Peter Pan, we're still gonna probably wait 10 or 15 minutes and she's gonna be hollering the whole time. <laughs> so um, maybe not, maybe not if I'm holding her, but we'll see. So um, that's all for today. Thank you for listening to my monologue and I will see you guys here tomorrow to start our fourth and final set from the advent calendar. I'm kind of sad that it's the end. But um, this has been really good, and I've got all these beautiful pins now. So the next set I already know is Nightmare Before Christmas because that is one of the ones I remembered seeing in the promos. So we'll start Nightmare Before Christmas tomorrow, and I will see you there. Bye. Have a holly jolly Christmas.